Hey there fools, Mr. T here, and I'm back with another video. In this video I want to talk about something that I, I've talked about for years, and apparently uh, things have changed on it. <laughs> um, during the Wii U era, especially, uh, you know, we were talking about, you know, the merits of the Wii U and what made it, you know, important and, you know, viable and what made it a system that you should own, and that was exclusives. But, uh, you know, there was a lot of fools out there that was trying to downplay exclusives. Exclusives don't matter, you know. I need my multiplats. Where my multiplats at? We you ain't got no multiplats. Uh, they, they do have multiplats. They dog shit and stuff like that, you know. So, uh, you know, multiplats didn't matter. Or, or excuse me, to exclusive didn't matter. Didn't matter, uh, you know, Super Mario 3D World and, you know, Captain Toad and all those really good games. The Bayonetta 2s and all that stuff. Didn't matter. Didn't matter. Um, especially during uh, early PS4, early Xbox One. Because their, their, their exclusives didn't matter. <laughs> At least not to Xbox One and PS4 fans. I mean, this Nintendo fan made a video uh, after Sony showed their stuff, their initial rollout of the PS4. Uh, forgot what they called that show. But they showed it, you know. And uh, I remember this Nintendo fan saying, screaming, what did they show? <laughs> what did they show? What did we see? You know, uh, talking about their show. They had none that was that cool or whatever. And uh, what did they show? You know, basically the first year of Xbox One and uh, PS4 was pretty sparse. Uh, even by their own <laughs> admission, especially on the PS4. I remember that terminology being used as sparse. Uh, as far as the first party, first, first, first party stuff goes, you know. And uh, same on Xbox One. You know, you got a couple of things that happened. Uh, most of them had some games. It wasn't like they didn't have games. But, you know, their first party offerings you know, were just okay games. They were okay to good games. You know, they weren't terrible or anything. They were just okay to good. And so, you know, uh, Nintendo fans, you know, we were in our feelings, you know, because we weren't getting all the third parties. And they was talking a lot of smack. And so we were talking about how great our first party was, you know. But, you know, there was a lot of fools running around saying, oh, it didn't matter. Those games don't matter. Uh, you know, there's no value in the console and you need more games for value. And that is true to some extent. Like, obviously, third party, multi plats, things like that. Uh, hell, indie games bring value to your console beyond the first party because you want to be. You want to be able to play stuff that's beyond the first party. You know, there's a lot of games that come out that are pretty cool. And uh, you want to be able to play that stuff, you know. At least some of it. And, you know, for the most part, Wii U wasn't getting a lot of that stuff. A lot of stuff was passing Wii U. So, you know, that was kind of hard to deal with. But we did get really stellar first party games. So, and those were exclusives, obviously. And there was, you know, second party uh, second, uh, party exclusive, stuff like that. But, you know, it didn't matter. All we you, no, 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 the exclusives don't matter, exclusives don't matter. But all of a sudden, uh, exclusives matter. Uh, you know, you have Sony fans running around, uh, touting their exclusives, which is fine, cause, but, because I always tout it exclusives. <laughs> so, welcome, welcome to the party. <laughs> but now they're touting their exclusives, and, uh, uh, Xbox fans, uh, they're not, because they don't have many, they... Some of them are pretty similar. You got the Forzas and Forzas over and over again. And uh, a lot of them are pretty sad right now because they don't have the big exclusives, you know, stuff like that. Where are our exclusives? They get every other game. Xbox One, you know, they may not have, like, the major exclusives, but they get every other game. There are people out there saying that, you know, that apparently the exclusives are more important now. So I'm just like, I'm, well, I'm saying welcome, but I'm kind of confused because back when you didn't have the exclusives, exclusives didn't matter. But now that you got, you know, top tier exclusives, now they matter. Um, welcome to the party. Like I said, I've always been there. That's always been my stance that first party exclusives matter. To me, they matter most because you need a reason to buy the box. You can't just buy the box for uh, third party content because you can get third party content on many boxes. So what is the reason for me buying your box? And a lot of people talk about the Xbox One especially is that, well, a lot of their games come on PC. Uh, now, so uh, what is the point of me buying uh, uh, Xbox hardware if they don't have major exclusives that I want to buy? And that's a pretty good point. Multiplats are important for the overall value of a box. And when I say box, I'm referring generically to a video game playing device. Multiplats cannot be the main reason you buy a particular box because the multiplat is offered on multiple boxes. You're not choosing a box to play Assassin's Creed on. Chances are you already chose a box, maybe for brand loyalty or for that box's exclusives. And Assassin's Creed 
is a bonus if you happen to like Assassin's Creed games, of course. So if Xbox One, PS4, and PC all have Assassin's Creed as a multiplat, how do you decide which box to buy based on the fact that that game is on all boxes? Uh, Sony doesn't have to deal with that. Sony has major exclusives that people want to buy uh, at this point now, um, and uh, they don't have to do worry about, you know, uh, why the why situation. Why should I have this over a PC? You know, uh, because they don't have to worry about that. They get all the multiplats, and they also have their first party exclusives. Uh, Nintendo doesn't get all the multiplats, uh, but they they getting they're getting more multiplats, and they're getting a lot of really good indie support. Um, and they have top tier uh, first party support, so they they have they, they have their niches. X, uh, PS4 has their niche, and uh, uh, obviously Nintendo Switch has its niche. So uh, Microsoft at this point does not. Uh, they don't have major first party uh, exclusives coming, and uh, not in the foreseeable future anyway. Well, at least nothing that's really you know. Uh, wetting anybody's whistle or uh, really making anybody uber excited you know for uh, the Xbox one at least not not any games yet that, that could change obviously in the next couple months uh, especially at e3 and stuff so at this point you know um, people are on the exclusive things and uh, like I said I've always been here and it's just kind of funny it's just kind of funny to me that now it matters uh, but you know it's just how it is in gaming it's how it is with this braggadocio kind of console wars thing people will you know they will laud uh what they feel is a um what they feel is an advantage for their console of choice and they will uh downplay what they feel is a disadvantage and uh that's just how it is it's just uh, you know funny it's annoying at times but it, it is what it is what can i say so yes uh i did a video like i said about exclusives some time ago i'll leave a i'll leave a link uh maybe an annotation at the top of the screen that you can go check that video out called uh I believe it's exclusives matter most with professor t so uh check that out and uh yeah let me know what you fools think uh uh do you feel like i feel uh how i've always felt exclusives matter the most uh multiplats you can get on anywhere any box that's not an incentive to uh, buy a box other than the fact that it adds value to the box but you still need a reason to purchase that box in the first place if you own one of these multiplat boxes that basically share the same multiplats what makes you decide which box to get over the other i'll tell you it's the exclusives of those boxes that help you decide which box to get halo uncharted or a game like league of legends am i wrong about that is that conclusion all that controversial multiplats are the bonus but exclusives are the deciding factor in picking up a box. And for me, that's always been exclusive. So let me know what you fools think in the comments below. Uh, thank you for watching and listening as always. And I'll uh, see you fools next time. Peace out.